guys, uh, I'm Sneha, second year Masters in Electrical Engineering at the University of Pura, Salt Lake City. Um, so the purpose of doing this video is obviously to um, share my experience of the journey so far, uh, which I feel it would be helpful for you guys. Um, so as I said, this is my second year at the U, uh, and so far it's been an amazing experience for me. Uh, and I did not really have a very hard transition or something, or any sort of a cultural shock or um, stuff that you know people would experience because people here in general uh, are really warm and welcoming um, and really supportive so i think i've never had that issue of um, yeah feeling that you know i'm left out alone or it's a different place it's just getting difficult for me to get into touch with people so that's been good so far um, so yeah talking about my preparation for the GRE exam I prepared started preparing about five to six months before my actual test started uh, just because of various reasons um, so the first thing I did was uh, I wanted to shortlist my universities my category of three dream moderate and three safe admits like how the students would do usually so this was an important step for me because it helped me um, understand what the score requirements are for each of the universities and what kind of a uh, stronger preparation I should be putting in to secure admittance space. So I applied to about uh, 10 universities in total, um, sorry, uh, out of the three categories and I got about 8, I secured 8 out of 10 admits uh, in total. So, and my final destination was, of course, the University of Utah. So, um, so as I started preparing for the GRE, I divided my time for both quants and for the language part. So, as far as the language was considered, what I would do is, um, there are a lot of online resources which gives you a handful of repeating vocabulary that the GRE tests tests you upon so I made sure I collect all of them and I would practice about 10 to 15 words every day so that over the period of time it gradually improved my vocabulary and for the quants the same way yes I would prepare uh, for about half an hour once in every two days so that I you know, kind of uh, get the ability to solve the sums in a very quick way because most of the time what happens is you might have done so well in your tests here but at the actual test, what happens is you lose time, you can't keep track of them. So that's a very usual complaint that students put forth or a usual difficulty that everybody experiences. So I guess this is a good way of, uh, you know, getting accustomed to the speed and accuracy of solving. Uh, and also before uh, I left for my master's to the United States, I did talk to a couple of professors at my university in regards to uh, assistantship opportunity. So I managed to get a research assistant and I've been working as one for the last um, three semesters. Um, so what I did was I saw very clearly explained what my interests are and I got to know what kind of projects they were working. And I really think I built a very good resume. So I think that's like very important. I can't stress how important that is. Uh, so then we got into touch with the professors and I finally managed to secure one. And the thing about University of Utah is that uh, it does provide a good amount of uh, scholarships in the way of assistantships, say research or teaching. So I think it has really helped a lot of Indian students that way here, yeah? a lot of international students in general. Uh, yeah. Then coming on to uh, the internship uh, or the phase of searching for an internship. So again, it had been a very stressful period. Um, so. I did apply to quite a lot of uh, companies and did get interview calls, but none of them seemed to click. Uh, so again, the only thing that I worked on is improving my networking uh, connections over LinkedIn or uh, working well on certifications or extra skills that would help you uh, fetch a job. So then one final fine day, I did get a call from Biasat, which is located in um, San Diego for an internship position. So I did my summer internship of um, a period of three months over there. So that's been an amazing experience. And um, trust me, an internship kind of completely uh, uh, improves your perspective on how you work on things. And for a person like me who is a fresher, who's a, who just graduated and just came off here, I think this has been a good um, experience for me. And um, yeah, the other thing is that I have also been offered a full-time position uh, with Viasat starting next summer. So I'm really excited about that. So I hope this helped you and 
yeah good luck hope to see you at the university of utah and good luck with your preparation